Hello students. So, in this video class we are going to discuss about the next phylum that is third phylum. First one we discuss that Foriferra that is a commonly known as sponges first phylum and second phylum of invertebrates that is the Selenterata we discussed also called Nidaria right. So, two phylum two phyla we discussed in a previous videos and the, the third phylum it is third phylum is that is third one mention it as third one Tenophora, Tenophora ok. So, these are also uh, almost similar to the uh, second phylum that is Selenterata, but uh, somewhat there are some differences which we observed. So, they are commonly known as uh, S, uh, C walnuts what you call C walnuts they are commonly known as a C walnuts and the comb jellies also called comb jellies and comb plates we also refer it as comb plates in different uh, words uh, we called this tenopora right and these organisms special feature is that so they are exclusively marine as well as all members belongs to tenopora are called uh, these members see are commonly called as sea walnuts right sea walnuts or comb jellies and comb plates and this this phylum shows that the exclusive character they are of course marine and they are showing the bioluminescence yes bioluminescence feature bioluminescence means so usually you might have observed that the one of the insect which emits the light so when it is flying one of the insect as you observe that is also comes under in the next arthropoda phylum arthropoda we will discuss that but these are the primitive organisms compared to the arthropoda so this these organisms which are there in the water and produces the light right so they are called bioluminescence that property property of uh, be, uh, living beings uh, which emits lights right yes the living organisms emit light those organisms which emits the lights no so such organisms are called bio, bioluminescence organisms bioluminescence organisms these are also belongs to the bioluminescence group so that is the phylum tenophora all are bioluminescence okay they are emitting the light right see <coughs> sorry see here some general characters let us be discuss here so first i'll take the examples Okay. So, these are the examples what I have taken here uh, very few are there. So, you can uh, remember uh, Hermophora what you call Hermophora that is commonly known as sea walnut sea walnut it in shape may be walnut like. So, that is why we call it as sea walnut they are found in sea marine forms remember ok and uh, uh, Pleurobarchia Pleurobarchia or Pleurobarchia we can pronounce it. So, Pleurobarchia or Pleurobarchia. So, this is commonly called as a sea gooseberry. You might have observed the gooseberry, right? So, it is somewhat uh, plate like structures which are appears edge like structures appears on that. So, that is the gooseberry, yeah, right? So, uh, th that strips like structures we observe that, right? That is why comb plates we can also observe, comb plates we can say, okay, gooseberry. So, somewhat uh, it is a cylindrical, uh, sorry it is not cylindrical it is a, a spherical ball like structure ok. So, in this way the organism is observed here this is what the structure and uh, internally there is a structure what we called see so in this way this is what the organism this strip like structures are also observed on this one right. So, there are some strips about 8 uh, uh, see there are body bears 8 external rows of ciliated comb plates what we call comb plates right comb plates are present here. So, these are what we call comb plates right. So, there are uh, about 8 number are there. So, <coughs> due to presence of this uh, comb plates in these organisms we also called comb plates commonly called as comb plates right. So, comb like uh, that ciliated which are helps in locomotion which are helps in locomotion by that they can 
uh, move right so that's what uh, in the they can swim with the uh, these structures that is called comb plates so comb plates are the ro locomotor structures we observed in in uh, tenophora right so this is our, uh, uh, one of the important feature and bioluminescence is also important feature of uh, this phylum you remember and next uh, the common uh, uh, features we observed as in case of uh, yes, uh, cylindrates so these are exclusively marine we can say right so these are the marine forms exclusively marine because all members belongs to this one are marine forms marine means so saline water or sea or ocean they are found in the sea or ocean next we observe that radial symmetry radial symmetry so these are showing the radial symmetry see here the sometimes bilateral symmetry is also observed yes see here this is what the bilateral symmetry so in this section the internal structures get two parts so intermediate to bilateral biradial sorry biradial again subtype is there in the radial symmetry so biradial symmetry right so in biradial symmetry or radial just you can take it as a radial symmetry yes you at least you should remember it shows the radial symmetry in any section when you pass the line so the two parts will be formed in some uh, internal organs may be showing as a biradial in in one section so it will be two parts we observed or in a uh, that is what the biradial symmetry here commonly we can write it as a radial symmetry right so this is the radial symmetry right next uh, they are they are they are diploblastic organisms right they are called diploblastic here two layers germ layers by that these organisms are formed hence we can say that diploblastic organisms right so and uh, the organization when you observe they are showing tissue level of organization tissue level of organization which we observed in this tenopora right tenopora shows that tissue level of organization right tissue level right means here tissue is formed right simple kind of tissues are formed here and they have their own movements also okay they are freely swimming in free living they are freely swimming in the water with the help of a locomotor structures called this that is comb plates right comb like structures which are appears ciliated ciliated means cilia okay so there are cilia like structures are there on the combs right that's why we call it as comb plates right ciliated comb plates which are helps in the locomotion okay it is about eight external rows which are found in eight external rows right next the digestion about digestion let us we talk about digestion so digestion is both extra extracellular extracellular means which is there in the gastrovascular cavity so here also these are also showing the gastrovascular cavity the there is no true body cavity is not formed here yes body cavity is not there which is called gastrovascular cavity if it is takes place in the gastrovascular cavity that is called extra extracellular and if it is taken inside the cell that is called intracellular right intracellular and extracellular digestion is takes place here so that is about the digestion in tenophora right next one the as i explained already the bioluminescence bioluminescence means by some chemical reactions which are takes place in the cells of these organisms and they may produce the yes uh, emit the light they may produce the light okay so due to this uh, luminescence they are uh, illuminating in the water yes they are uh, like uh, emitting they are emitting the light by that they are become so exclusive in this group okay so uh, that is the exclusive feature of a uh, yes tenopora right and the by uh, next one sexes about uh, reproduction when you take reproduction the uh, sexes are not separate here here sexes are not separate means male and female are not identified here both organs are present in the same animal so sexes are uh, said to be not separate right they are producing both uh, gametes by that uh, they can uh, yes uh, produce the next generation right so and uh, reproduction takes place only by a sexual method sexual method means by the union of male and female gametes so here the male gametes and female gametes so that what we called uh, this is the 
female gamete you consider male gamete so both are fused and to produce a zygote by that uh, it can uh, continue its progeny or the next generation that is only by sexual reproduction not by a sexual reproduction here so only there is a possibility is the yes, sex, uh, sexual reproduction and so next uh, uh, can consider the next points yes uh, fertilization so next about uh, when you take the fertilization fertilization is external fertilization is external which is takes place in the water media so that is fertilization is external and about development development is indirect development is said to be indirect yes so these are the few examples what i have given here the sea walnut and sea uh, gooseberry sea gooseberry and the tinoplena tinoplena right so these are the examples three examples what i have given one is called uh, hermophora hermophora that is also called sea walnut and uh, pleobarchia pleobarchia uh, that is also called sea gooseberry you remember and next one is tinopo tinoplena tinoplena here i have taken three examples for this yes tinopora you remember so these are also called remember sea walnuts comb jellies so they are appears like a jelly okay so hence we call it as comb jellies and the what you call jellyfish that was in the cylindrata what we studied okay the same way here also uh, jelly like uh, uh, appearance is there and next uh, the comb plates due to presence of eight comb plates uh, comb plates means they are uh, rows which are arranged in a row that is ciliated comb plates are present okay which are helps in swimming locomotion is by uh, yes comb plates we can locomotor structures may be asked for one mark okay next uh, even the bioluminescence character is very important it is a well marked in this uh, tinopora you remember right so it's very important character here that is emitting emitting of light its own light it is okay it's not reflecting any light it is producing in its body and uh, emitting its own light right such organisms are called bioluminescence organisms they are bio, bio, bioluminescence such organisms are called bioluminescent organism right or bioluminescence right so this is the future is called bioluminescence bioluminescence means that may be a non living may be luminescent okay non lumin uh, uh, non organism means uh, uh, the lights okay you can consider light luminescent just simply we can say luminescent bio means it's a with regarding light bioluminescent right bioluminescent properties we observed in this group of organisms that is tinopora you make the points of these uh, what i have written on the board so try to get these uh, as a points in your notebook right and uh, study these points so that is the phylum related to phylum tinopora every phylum you can write the title with examples and the general features and you can make underline for important features like this right so uh, in the next video with the next uh, phylum we will discuss thank you